We um, started as a very small division within the Department of Pediatrics. There were just three faculty and a handful of staff, and um, that was in the late 80s. But as we grew, and now we're 18 faculty, 150 staff, our mission, which is to bring proven solutions to uh, support families, teachers, childcare staff, to make sure their children are as successful as they can possibly be in life. The staff Clinicians, researchers, um, educators at CLI are amazingly passionate. They will do anything to find solutions, to support teachers, to help families, whether it's in these clinical settings that we have at CLI or in our work out in the field and in classrooms, uh, our parenting programs, The types of diagnoses that often come up are issues related to ADHD, various learning disorders like, like dyslexia, or even anxiety. Um, and I think that's one of the strengths of the Dan L. Duncan Clinic. So the work here at CLI is pretty impactful in the sense that we really aim to maximize potential. In a community, every ch child, every person needs to have their valued and rightful place in society. And that can look different for each person. So part of helping children and helping parents support their children is identifying those strengths and weaknesses and where we can bridging those gaps um, to really maximize potential and that has a real community-based impact. He was um, just about to start pre-k. Um, he had maybe five words and so whenever um, he came and he got tested, um, the doctor made some recommendations. And so being able to have that information, we were able to get him speech therapy. And within a month from having the speech therapy, he was like having, you know, being able to have somewhat of a conversation like with full sentences. So the day that I received the diagnosis, diagnosis of autism disorder um, for my son Andy, um, I was devastated. I cried the whole way home. My goal is for them to leave with information that they need. And sometimes that information is hard to hear. Um, but what's great about it is even though we have some difficult conversations, what's nice is like when a child comes back two years later and he's having this full on conversation with you when he never spoke to you in that first visit. So for me, that's the best part. Andy's been coming here about once a year um, to get tested and retested. He has, you know, had tremendous improvements um, whereas people where people will say I don't believe that he's on the autism spectrum his grades are improving every year and I definitely do see the possibility of him having a full life and being able to drive to go to college to get married we started traveling the whole United States and doing these trainings with leaders and coordinators. It was what's called a trainer of trainer model. And then they went and trained 55,000 Head Start teachers. Now, this many years later, we are the program. We are the standards, the national standards. You need the modules, you need the coach, and you need the progress monitor. You needed all of it. And that became the Texas School Ready program, which is still to this day uh, being done in thousands of classrooms across the state. 20,000 teachers have registered to use components of the program. You know, those teachers are working with over 200,000 children. The Texas School Ready program is a three-year commitment. The, the teacher is trained and taught how to utilize all the materials that are given. Texas School Ready gave me the foundation that I needed. And once I started learning more about not just uh, teaching strategies, but the importance of child development and brain development, I fell in love with this field. And now that I'm the director, I encourage my teachers to participate because I know there's a wealth of information 
Texas School Ready provides all those ways. It provides the hands-on, it provides um, reading in a book, it provides giving examples. Social emotional is one of the things we stay on top of because if they're not developing social and emotionally, then they're not ready for the cognitive learning. This program's life-changing. It can change a child's life and it can change an educator's life. For an educator, it builds the platform of furthering your education and providing a better education for students. It's all about finding uh, approaches that we can help parents use, teachers use, clinicians use uh, to help children be successful in life. The family component, the teacher component, the clinical component, it, it's putting the whole picture together.